Hi guys, it's Miss Stewart, and I am back with another awesome book just for you. Okay, how many of you have a bedtime routine? Maybe you take a bath, uh, brush your teeth, get your PJs on, and you, you know, maybe say your prayers, have worship, and go to bed. Well, this story we're going to read today is a wonderful story about what happens at bedtime, okay? So it's all about a family and their hair, okay? So we're going to be reading Bedtime Bonnet by Nancy Red, okay? So stay tuned and enjoy this awesome book. Bedtime Bonnet by Nancy Red. In my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes up. My brother twists and tightens each of his locks. Sis combs her hair in a swirl round her head. Daddy's hairbrush makes rows of black waves appear. Grandma rolls up her silver mane. Grandpa doesn't do anything to his hair because he doesn't have any. After Mommy gathers her corkscrew curls in a scarf, she calls for me. I scoop between her legs and she gets to work on my hair. I'm tender-headed, so she's extra gentle. Grandpa tells jokes as Mommy works her magic. He asks me, why does B have sticky hair? I don't know. So he says, because it uses a honeycomb. Silly Grandpa. Finally, a braided crown is on top of my head and it's time for bed. Except... I can't find my bedtime bonnet. I needed to protect my hair from tangles and lint while I sleep. Wearing my bonnet at night is as important as brushing my teeth. Maybe grandma knows where it is. She's covering her rollers with a kerchief. Grandma, have you seen my bonnet? She gets up and looks around. No, dear, I haven't. Maybe your sister knows. My sister, my sister still in the bathroom. Her hair spun up in a wrap. Sis, have you seen my bonnet? She looks in all the bathroom drawers. No, but here's daddy's wave cap. I take the cap to Daddy, and he pops it on top of his waves. Daddy, have you seen my bonnet? He looks around the sofa, but it's not there either. Where in the world could my bonnet be? I can't go to bed without it. Just then, 
my big brother walks in. A do-rag slipped over his locks. Does he know where it is? Big bro, have you seen my bonnet? He doesn't even pretend to look. He just says, ask grandpa. Grandpa! My bonnet is now in its proper place and I'm really sleepy. Everyone gives me kisses and hugs and mommy and daddy read me a story. Good night family. In the morning, when the sun comes up, our hair comes down. Daddy smooths his ocean-like waves. Mommy crunches her ribbony curls. Sister unwinds her foot-long wrap. My brother shakes out his lovely locks. While Grandma unsnaps her rollers, Grandpa shaves his head. And as for me, my bonnet comes off and my braids come out. Now we're all ready for a brand new day. Wasn't that just an awesome book? I love this story because it reminds me about what I do. I need to put my bonnet on at night to keep my little curls all together. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this story and look out for the next one. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.